we talk about bet on coaches for week one of the NFL season, and there's one name that stands out to me. What's his name? John Harbaugh. That's what his name is. The results don't lie. All right. The Ravens covered minus nine and a half versus a playoff bound Houston team in week one last year. They beat the Jets by 15 in 2022. In fact, dating back to 2016, Baltimore, seven and one straight up, seven and one against the spread in week one. And all seven teams they beat were held to 10 points or less. Six of those seven wins came by 15 points or more. Blowouts. It's worth talking about the only loss during that span. That was in 2001, 2021, I should say, on Monday Night Football in the very first night with fans at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas after the pandemic. And Baltimore led that game twice in the fourth quarter by a touchdown, and they fumbled the ball away in overtime. My point is, no shame in that. <laughs> they were prepared, everybody was prepared for that game as they've been for all the other openers in the recent John Harbaugh era. It's worth noting Harbor was an underdog as well, excluding the resting starters in the regular season finale games. Harbaugh catching points 3-0 and against the spread last year, including outright upsets at San Fran and at Cincinnati. I've got him 17-4 and against the spread as an underdog or pick em since 2018. That's a strong track yeah. record for a coach and a team in spots like this one. Andy Reid, we know how good the Chiefs are. They won the Super Bowl last year. They won the Super Bowl the year before that. Their season is not make or break in September. Right? They lost straight up as favorites on opening day to Detroit last year. They opened the season 2-4 and four ATS in 2022. They opened the season 0-3 oh ATS in 2021. It's not about hot starts for a team that expects to be playing in January and February. Two-time defending champs. And this has been a hotly contested series. It's five and five straight up the last 10 meetings. And the underdog has been the way to bet these. Five and oh against the spread the last five tried. Every meeting between Harbaugh and Reed since 2008 has been an underdog cash, including the underdog Chiefs winning straight up in Baltimore last January on their way to the Super Bowl. So we got playoff revenge in game one. Count me in at plus three. I'm interested in the Baltimore side in this one. In fact, I'm so interested, I bet it, and I advise my clients to do the same client play for you right here. Baltimore plus the points in Kansas City on opening night. There's your big game breakdown. Back to you, Mr. Prince. Teddy, where do you think that line will end up? Uh, there are two and a halves on the board uh, yeah. currently. Uh, do you feel like you, if you're gonna take Baltimore, you need to do it right now? Not right now, this minute. I would expect this line to close right where it is, 2.75. There will be two and a half, so there will be threes. Um, someone might take all the threes out. It wouldn't, I don't think you're going to get a lot better than the plus three, minus 120 you can find right now. If you like Baltimore, I'd bet that sooner rather than later. 